Hello my little sly queen. This is so hot, but I need a drink so bad. But I can't have a Diet Coke, it's literally nine in the morning. That's that would be concerning. That would be a cry of help. Like, I seriously do need help. I get a pack of 24 Diet Cokes and they literally last me. I'm not even getting a week. Sometimes it's not even a week. Like, sometimes it's literally six days. Today? Not even today. The past few days, I have decided that I want to be Hayley Bieber. Maybe aside from the controversy and um, the fact that she's married to Justin Bieber because, well, I have a boyfriend. Sorry, Justin. You are missing out on all of this. Anyways, I have been obsessed with that girl, it girl makeup, so I want it on my face. Do you know what I mean? Insert pictures here and here. Future Caitlyn. If you don't, I probably won't. I will probably forget. Anywho, let's put the headband on. But do you know when people just look so fresh face, fresh skin, like Jess Hunt, Hayley Bieber, Sophia Ritchie. Who else does it? Oh, oh. All of those type of girls. Do you know what I mean? Like that type of makeup. Actually did it yesterday for a TikTok. I was um, following Hayley Bieber. Well, I wasn't following Hayley. I wasn't following Hayley Bieber's makeup routine. I was just literally looking at a picture that a makeup artist did of her, and then I did it myself. But anyways, I'm actually getting my nails done today as well. These are my current nails. They are literally just French by her, but they are an absolute atrocious state. But I've had to wait three weeks so I can get them done fresh for my holiday because I literally go away on Sunday. Today is Thursday. Exciting. Me and my boyfriend are going to Amsterdam. Getting absolutely high on marijuana. No, I'm kidding. That was a joke. We are going to a sex museum though. That'll be awkward. Quite honest with you, when all this drama started at first with like Hayley and Selena, like, oh my God, like all that. Now I look at it and I'm like, oh my God, that's so pathetic. But when it first started, I was like, Team Selena, Team Selena. Like, frick Hayley, don't like her. But like, now as time's gone on and like everything's calmed down and everything, also I'm just using the Glow Recipe Watermelon Dew Drops because I don't have any road skincare. Um, road, if you're watching this, don't know why you would be, but if you are, hit me up. Hit me up, babs. As time has progressed and everything has calmed down, I'm kind of like, oh my God, I love Hayley Bieber. I followed her on Instagram yesterday. So, I mean, we're getting, we're getting close to being best friends. You know what I mean? Her style, her makeup, her face. I want her bone structure so bad. Like, she is beautiful. Like, you cannot deny that she is beautiful. Like, you, you just can't. You just can't. Her skin as well. I mean, to be fair. Not to flex, but my skin is pretty great. Like, especially when I put products on like this. Maybe we have the same skin. Even more reason for us to be best friends, do you know what I mean? Anywho, <laughs> I'm also trying to use SPF every single day. Like, trying to get into the habit of it. Because I saw this girl's TikTok the other day. Oh, that's too much. Yeah, you can never have too much. I saw this girl's TikTok the other day. And she was like 32. And she, her skin like hadn't aged since she was like 16. And she's like, people still think I'm 16. Like, I still get... I did, like at 32, and I was like, wow. Like, not that I would wanna be ID'd at 32 because that's just a real inconvenience of my time, you know what I mean? But, I mean, the skin. So basically I'm starting my skin prep now for when I'm older and then I don't look back and like regret everything, you know what I mean? Like, who wants a wrinkly neck and stuff? Like, no. So we're starting the skin prep now so that when we are older, we still look young. That was the Inculus like sun cream. It is quite sticky. I don't know if it's because I've mixed those two products together. But sticky. It's a little bit annoying actually. This is my new favourite eye cream because I just love the applicator because it's like cooling and I feel like if you put this in the fridge it would be 10 out of 10. Like you need to do it. You know what I mean? But it's the Caudalie Vinyl Perfect so you just want to put a little cute little blobs on but then this is like a tip. Obviously it is, like, what am I on about? Really melts in the eye cream to your eye. Oh my God. I just know what I'm talking about, don't I? Oh my God, also, I wish I actually never spoke about it. I'll post it on my story yesterday. I got verified on Instagram yesterday. And like, to the normal eye, you're probably like, why the hell are you verified? Like, who are you? And honestly, I'm thinking the same thing as you, but I just found it hilarious that I was verified on Instagram. Anyways, to be verified on Instagram, you have to be in the press like in news articles i did a little bit of searchy search searchy typed in my name on google as you do when you google yourself you know what i mean anyways not that i am big-headed but sometimes i just like to see what's going on if there's anything that's there you know what i mean it's just fun anyways there's actually quite a few I, I say quite a few there's about six or seven i can't really remember and it's all about my tiktoks it's about my primark makeup videos and then my underpainting videos when everyone's like you're changing your skin tone i think like one of the articles was literally called like girl changed her skin tone but my makeup looks flawless and i was like mm, thank you basically just send those over to instagram to like prove that you're like in the public eye i guess and then they verify you I think two people dm me being like you bought it or like have you bought it and i was like First of all, rude. Like, 
Second of all, you think I'm paying, I don't even know how much it is. Anyways, you think I'm paying to be verified? I'd rather not be verified. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm not paying to be verified. Like, I'm not that sad. And I swear, I like, put it on my story and be like, oh my god, no way. I think I would like pay for it and then put it on my story. Like, no, that's embarrassing. You do it, fair enough. But I mean, I wouldn't be doing it. You know what I mean? I was like, no, I haven't. Anyways, that was, um, that's what happened yesterday to me. So, also, do you know that Hayley Bieber's makeup artist, I don't know if it's her makeup artist or if it was just the makeup artist that did her makeup that day, they don't use powder on her. So obviously you're probably thinking, oh my God, that's gonna slip off your face. But I actually don't use powder in my makeup routine anymore and it like doesn't. I do have dry skin, but then again, I don't think I have dry skin anymore because I have literally no dry patches at all. You know what I mean, like I just think I have normal skin at the minute, which is fabulous. Anyways, to make it last, use a mattifying primer. This is just the Beauty Crop Pore Filter one. Absolutely love this, but you can just use any mattifying primer and put it underneath your eyes and anywhere else that you would normally set with powder. Do you know what I mean? Like we're mattifying the skin, but we're also got glow to it. Also I got really into Charlotte Tilbury at the minute after like slandering her for like months. <laughs> not slandering her, not being like, oh my God, she's a freaking bitch. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm not being like that. Always been like, oh my God, like it's such a waste of money. Like you can get like, dupes and everything for like half the price and stuff but at the minute since i've entered my little it girl era you know what i mean been loving charlotte tilbury not gonna lie so this is just a pillow talk i actually don't know what it is i think it's just like a highlighter but i put this on underneath my foundation so then it still pops through because like the foundation you want to use you don't want to use a matte foundation but you also don't want to use like a super glowy dewy foundation because otherwise like it's literally going to slip off your face you just want to kind of make your skin like as glowy but also as matte as possible <laughs> it's a lot like it's confusing i don't know what happened with the light and then i feel like whenever i click record on this camera like it just goes all weird and i just still don't know how to use it but anyway just bear with me okay i really want to die cork i'm so addicted just so refreshing we could have a nice coffee. I don't really know. But anyways, go to Amsterdam on Sunday. Oh my God. Do you know what? <laughs> At the time, me and my boyfriend were like, let's get a really early flight. Then we've technically like woke up there. Well, like you've not because you have to get up at like 2 a.m. Yeah, to get to the airport. Like, honestly, I don't know why we thought this was going to be acceptable. But I mean, we've still not done it yet. I mean, Barney will literally stay in bed till the moment like we have to leave. But I have to like get ready and stuff. Because basically... Obviously, we're getting there at like eight in the morning. <laughs> I would have done this to ourselves. But we also, at the same time, we was like, oh, we want like a full day there. So, I mean, it's kind of good. But like, I just really hope the hotel either lets us check in at like nine in the morning. Will they? I really don't know if they will. Um, or they let, like, I hope they let us leave our luggage there because if not, we're going to be literally looking like two massive 23 kilogram suitcases all around Amsterdam all day so that we can check in. It's not a vibe and I don't want to be doing that. Have to let you leave your luggage. I just hope they're like, oh yeah, your room's ready. You know what I mean? I feel like that would just be ideal. But I have to get ready in the morning and like go in my outfit to the airport, what I'm going to be wearing around Amsterdam, Amsterdam all day. But also as well, like, we're getting to the airport at like four in the morning. What the hell do you do at the airport at four in the morning? Because you can't really like eat food and like drink. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like, it's four in the morning. Like, I'm not going to be hungry. I'm just going to feel sick. Like, and I can't have like an ice latte. Like, what do you mean? Like, having an ice latte at four in the morning? Like, that's a bit psychotic. <sighs> God, I get out of breath. So, I don't really know what we're going to do. And then I'm like, oh, we'll just get there a bit later. Maybe we will just get there a bit later. Because like, who the frick is going to be at the airport at that time? You know, I'm like, it is pretty early. I think the flight literally takes like 50 minutes, which I mean, really good. But like, what are we going to be doing, you know? I'm pretty excited though. We've booked everything now. I'm actually, I'm actually so excited to go. I've actually been to Amsterdam once before. Have I spoken about this before? I know I spoke about it on my TikTok the other day. I've actually been to Amsterdam once before, but we went with my family. And then I'm going to go on cruises because my granddad doesn't like flying. They always go on a cruise and then I think they wanted to like take us all on a cruise, but they didn't want to pay for take, to take us all on a cruise because that would literally be like taking out a mortgage you know what i mean there's 11 of us um so we all went on like a ferry instead and it stopped over in amsterdam so like you slept in it and stuff it's actually like a really cool experience but like i've been on a cruise now so like so we stopped over in amsterdam bear in mind at the time i think i was in year eight so what's that, like 13 or something i like obviously kind of knew what like weed was and stuff but then like my uncle got like this weed lollipop he said it just tasted like grass but anyways and there was like just weed everything so i'm kind of never to go back anyways um, and then I think we accidentally walked through the red light district. My brother was like 11, 10 maybe. I feel like my brother was 10 at the time. He accidentally walked through the red light district. And I think one of the women like at the windows was like, 
come here <clears throat> to a 10 year old. In fact, that's kind of freaked up. I hope that woman is not working there anymore because she scarred Jack for life. But we've booked so much to do. Like, let me just show you my itinerary. I mean, there's gonna, I think there's gonna be an Amsterdam vlog, so maybe I won't ruin everything. But last night we booked Madame Two Swords and the Amsterdam Dungeons. Low key scared for that, not gonna lie. Don't know why I have booked the Amsterdam Dungeons because I've been to the Blackpool ones before and it was actually a little bit of a scary experience and may just show myself anywho back to the makeup just use the charlotte silver beautiful skin foundation and then i'm using the pink honey bff face frosting this is honestly my favorite bronzer ever i feel like i didn't use i didn't use it for ages and when i first got it i got the wrong shade so i actually hated it like it just was not the vibe this is cookie this is cookie butter and it just works so well and it also like low-key kind of dries down so it's not like slipping and sliding all over your face you know what i mean like that's not the vibe that we want yeah like all these it girls just have very natural not natural because i don't know how to describe it I mean, I don't really know. If I was just doing like an everyday look, I wouldn't actually use foundation. But they get, then again, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation is more so a skin thin, I would say. But you can build it up a little bit. They just have very bronzed skin. And also like not really much on their eyes. And when we get back from Amsterdam, literally, we get back from Amsterdam on the Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I go to Barcelona with my mum. Honestly, it's freaking chaotic. I like. And then when I get back from Amsterdam, not Amsterdam, Barcelona, two days later, I'm doing something else. But I can't say what. <clears throat> it's a bit of a hectic month, June. Like, honestly, I feel like it's just go, go, go. Like, it's, it's, it's just a lot. It's a lot. I'm not prepared for it, but I mean, whatever. I also always do bronzer and then concealer. I can't get on the hype. Not the hype. I can't get on the routine of doing, like, concealer. No, foundation, concealer, then bronzer. That just doesn't make sense in my head. I did actually see someone the other day and they actually did bronzer, then blush, then concealer. Maybe we will do that today. I'm gonna use even more Charlotte Tilbury. Honestly, one for me at this point, it's an addiction. It is Peach Pop. It's the matte blush ones though. I've never tried their glowy. Is it the Glowgasm ones? I actually have two shades, I think, but I've just not tried them yet. I really like this one. I feel like I like, it's not really a matte blush. Like it's not a matte blush. Like come on Charlotte, like it's not. You, you lie to us. Anyways. I'm not trying to start beef with Charlotte Tilbury, like, come on. I feel like it is more of, like, just a glowy blush without the glow, but, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's literally half nine in the morning. My nail appointment is only at 12, but, I mean, this is what I mean by I stress. Like, I literally left the gym early so that I could come and record this video so then I wouldn't be late for the for my nail appointment. Like, honestly, I stress way too much. Like, I'm literally not going to be late at all. I just need to leave at half 11. That's in two hours. It's just how my mind works, honestly. Now we do concealer. I found a new favourite concealer. I do love, love the Kosas concealer. That is, like, my summer concealer. But... I do really like this Huda Beauty one because it's a luminous matte. You don't really need to set it if that makes sense. I also put some here yesterday to try and like sculpt out, sculpt, <laughs> sculpt out like my cheekbone. I mean, I got a free facelift, so what am I gonna get? I feel like I've used way too much. It's fine. Do you know what as well? With not setting anything, like you can literally just go over and over and over with products and like not over and over and over because that literally defeats, defeats the purpose. Like you can literally just go over and over with your brush. That makes any sense and like fix everything. Am I shaking so much? My arm is literally shaking right now. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. <clears throat> I don't know what I'm nervous for. Oh my god. I mean, I did do upper body today at the gym, but I mean, come on girl. Honestly, upper body day makes me feel so weak because like leg day, I'm like, oh yeah, like... 60 kg or whatever that probably sounds so weak to like everyone else but anyways it's good for me you have got to be kidding i actually hate them i hate them no they're mowing the lawn they're mowing the lawn i really hope you can't hear that which to be fair with me talking you probably can't because i literally talk so loud but anyway have you cooled down yet because you're pissing me off <clears throat> it sounds like an airplane doesn't it I've been low-key getting back into my Refi Brow Sculpt. I use the Refi Brow Tint, but I feel like sometimes if I just want a little bit more of like a fluffier brow, I use this, but I will just do it after all my makeup. So, I mean, you just have to be careful that you don't literally take all your makeup off. A lot of the girls that like, do their makeup like this always just have the best natural brows ever. I mean, they probably do put a little bit of something in them, but they just have really good eyebrows. And I'm like how like how do you have good eyebrows like did you not pluck them out like when you were 14 as well like i did like did you not do that did you not go through that stage <laughs> i've already got a backup of this refi gloss highlighter i mean i actually think you get a lot in it because this still feels really full i think i've had it for like actually i don't think i've had it for that long mm, i don't know 
but I just put this absolutely all over my face like even like taking it up into the eyebrow even sometimes across the lid who knows thing is I've always wanted my makeup to look like this but I've just never known how to do it and I feel like now I've got the right products now I've got the right technique honestly now I'm just slaying like I am the next it girl you know what I mean I'm gonna use my pore filter setting spray from the beauty crop this is a matte fine this is the same range as the primer that we use they also do a mattifying setting powder and it's actually really good and it's so if you do want to set your face use that because it still gives like a nice effect if that makes any sense but anyways I'm gonna use this just to kind of mattify my skin a little bit but like as you can see I don't know if you can see it's still got that glow because of the refi highlighter but now our skin is nice and set in place this also has like micro fine powders or something in it so like you're kind of using powder but you're using it in like a setting spray way I honestly love this so much like it's my favorite beauty crop primer and setting spray now I used to love glow milk still love glow milk like I actually have about three glow milks bit concerning i know and we should as well honestly i only have the beauty crop setting sprays because they're so good i also actually have the charlotte silver one now i'm doing a full face charlotte silver it's tested all out but honestly i am loving charlotte at the minute right, for the eyes i'm not actually gonna do much i am though i'm just gonna run like i'm literally using this like tartlet in bloom eyeshadow palette does anyone else think this smells like chocolate like not chocolate but like i don't know how to describe it but anyways i'm just gonna literally use like that shade and just gently up over your eye because I feel like with your eye, you do kind of want to set that because it can look a little bit weird. The Hailey Bieber makeup look that I did the other day, she actually had a brown wing on. I actually loved it so much, but I just feel like I'm just not really that much of an eyeliner girl anymore. So oh, that looks so nice. Love that. I don't do this every time I do my makeup because honestly, sometimes I just can't be bothered. But if I want to just fill in my brows, this is just like pink honey brow pencil. But I really like the Refi one. But I've lost it. Oh my god. There was just four crows. <gasps> what does that mean? Oh! If you see four crows, it symbolises wealth and prosperity. Okay. Slay. If that's your lawnmower, I'm really concerned. Because it sounds like a bike or something trying to take off. Honestly. Do you know what he's doing as well? He's got his headphones in. So he can't even hear it. That knocking on the window. Oh, you. Shut up. None of them. Like, literally no one wears eyelashes and using my little eyelash serum i mean not gonna lie to you i don't know if it's working or not like i actually don't really know because the thing is i actually have pretty good eyelashes anyway i can't tell if it's making it worse if that makes any sense like i feel like my eyelashes are falling out it's very strange okay lips time if you have not already tried these honey beauty lip blushes and you're really missing out you really are i don't really like i feel like lips ruin my makeup if that makes sense i can never find something that actually looks good also we come back to lashes on the end so just bear with me oh i'm gonna start with peachy kiss first just as the little base layer also try and like overline though as well because when you actually like rub it out it's fine. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I feel like it looks a little bit crazy on camera. Like, in person it looks fine. Do you know what I mean? Anyways, I actually might just use that colour today. I'm just going to add a little bit of coral kiss, actually. Oh, should we do rosy? Okay, Jackley. Okay, now I'm going to finish off with the gloss. This is just the Fenty Beauty Lip Treat. I feel like this really just makes it look like you have literally just had your lips done. Fresh off the needle. But also, I felt like I could never wear lip gloss because I felt like my lip, like, I always have to overline my lips. But I felt like my lips always look weird with lip gloss on. Like, I always wanted something matte because I look a little weird. I feel like every time I put lip gloss on, like, the lipstick underneath would come off. But I feel like with these, like, it's actually staying in your lips, essentially. I actually did sleep with my makeup on the other night. <clears throat> Not recommending to do that. Like, literally don't do that. Don't follow my advice. And the lip blush was still on when I woke up the next morning. It was great. It was a great experience. Needs Kai Lash now. Okay, that is the It Girl, That Girl makeup routine done and dusted. I mean, we are basically a model right now. Like, hello, Kris Jenner. Yeah, signed. Thank you. I honestly love it so much. And also, you can add a little bit of powder if you need to, like under your eyes or whatever, like whatever makes you feel comfortable. I get skin types are different. And obviously, I kind of have like dry, normal kind of skin i mean this will last on my face and especially with like this mattifying mist and stuff but the little gorge glam at the moment obviously i mean to be fair even if i was like going out out i'd still probably wear this maybe i'd add a little corner lash but 
I mean, I don't really feel like I need to at the minute, but yeah, this is kind of just my makeup at the minute. I'd probably just change the lip and actually like put a lip liner on, like maybe a darker one. Even date nights and stuff, like this is just, this is just the makeup. This is just what's going on in my face, do you know what I mean? Also, it's 10 o'clock now, so I'm going to go and have a Diet Coke because I bloody deserve one. Okay, love you.